Hey Blakeney family, we are at stop number one of our Blakeney Staff Love Week tour today. Uh, we're here with our partner Hart from Monroe at our community garden right in downtown Monroe behind First Presbyterian Church. We have an acre behind us. All around we have volunteers um, just harvesting okra, mulching, doing whatever they need to uh, to keep this garden up and running so that local fresh food can go uh, sourced to local uh, partners in the area, which is amazing. Uh, this is what you're a part of. We're excited that uh, this is only stop number one for us today and we just wanted to give you a little glimpse and insight. It's a warm hot morning already but uh, we have some amazing volunteers. Shout out to the McGee family, Ashley Glass for being here running this. Uh, we're excited uh, for the rest of the day. Let's do this. Heart and Monroe bring several churches together to help the community, so that's awesome. And then here we have kids and adults and families, so super awesome. Um, we can be distant, we can be safe, and still have fun. Um, the kids down there are going on a rock hunt, which seems pretty awesome. Um, and then we have harvesting okra, um, so it's a lot of stuff to do, a lot of ways to get involved. Um, we come out here every year, Heart and Monroe is great. Hey everybody, uh, we're here right now at Benton Heights Elementary School. Uh, we're looking at some of Lonnie's work. Lonnie's been killing it this week at Love Week. He made this whiteboard slash blackboard. It's pretty cool. He worked really hard on it. And this is like a sensory garden that we've helped um, this week. So just know that your generosity and your man hours and your volunteering has gone to help this school. They'll be having students coming in the next few weeks. So we're really excited about it. But today we're just basically taking a tour of a bunch of different events, delivering some donuts, delivering some joy. And uh, it's been awesome. But it's so cool to see how our community is stepping up. Uh, just an outreach and uh, we're able to reach so many people because of you. So thank you so much. Thank you specifically to Lonnie. This project, he's still working hard. He's still doing so many things here at the school, but we're excited to see how God's going to continue to use you through your generosity and through Love Week. Hey, what is up guys? We're actually at Community Shelter in Union County right now in Monroe and we are packing some food right now back in the pantry. The staff and I are back here working and uh, getting ready to prepare some meals that are gonna be sent out, but also there are some people in the kitchen cooking to preserve some lunch today. It's gonna be pretty incredible. So we're putting together some bags at one of our outreach partners for the Union County Shelter. And so I'm gonna walk you through what we're putting in each of the bags. The first is gonna be a childhood favorite of mine, ravioli, Chef Boyardee. Then we're going to grab one can of chicken, and then of course two cans of fish of the sea, also known as tuna. And then we're going to get some soup. I try and get a variety of different kinds. Alright, a chili, some baked beans, and then a staple growing up of mine, ramen. Couple bags of snacks. And then we're gonna run over here to grab some oatmeal. And we're all packed up. Our team just packed 39 bags that are Woo! blast doing it. it was a lot of fun we um these bags are going to be distributed to a halfway house here in union county um i think they said these bags specifically are going to a group of elderly gentlemen in their 70s and 80s and so we had a lot of fun picking out some great foods for them and have 39 bags behind us that are going to be distributed tonight tomorrow tonight or tomorrow
Hey guys, uh, we're here at another stop for our Staff Love Week tour and uh, stumbled across none other than my very own mom right here. This is Kelly, otherwise aka Mom. Um, it's really cool just to think back and kind of think full circle that my mom spoke uh, principles and truths into my life from a young age, things like it's better to give than receive and what were some other ones? Uh, serve others. Serve others and which was cool the, the fact that from an early age she spoke those truths into my life and then full circle I'm able to be on staff at church serving an outreach and now we're able to kind of do this together it really is a family calling so never underestimate the power of truths and declarations in your children's lives. We're in the Back Porch Treasures Thrift Shop, which is a thrift shop, pardon me, attached to Matthew's Help Center. We have a group of awesome volunteers next door. They're sorting some Halloween costumes, and we are over here um, doing a little field trip shopping in the thrift shop. This thrift shop is open um, Monday through Saturday. Check out the website for the hours. If you come and support this thrift shop, it helps put revenue back into Matthew's Help Center, which is directly helping Matthew's and the five zip codes surrounding the Matthews area. So you're helping your neighbors when you come and shop, which is a lot of fun. We have found a lot of awesome things. You can also donate Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You can come donate here to the thrift shop. They process it through a group of awesome volunteers, put it directly back into the store. And again, the revenue created by the store is used to help our neighbors in the Matthews and five surrounding zip codes. So Blakeney, those are your neighbors that you can come and help just by shopping. So thank you for those of you that have been generously giving. Um, because you're supporting our community and for those of you that have been serving during Love Week. But it's hard to recognize that when you're in the old thing, you know? It's tough. Yeah. Hey, I'm Wesley Kaziah. I'm the executive director right here at Ground 40. And what Ground 40 is, is we take guys out of prison, out of recovery, out of addiction, out of homelessness, and we bring them here to our six acre farm uh, in Monroe, North Carolina, and we house them for free for 120 days. And that's where we go through practical and spiritual application with these men to try to disciple them so they can transition back into the community. Mm -hmm. 